Have you ever wondered why some men naturally connect with women while others find it a challenge? It's not about wealth, looks or luck. It's about understanding the subtle psychology that fuels attraction. In today's video, we're exploring 11 powerful psychological insights that can change the way you approach relationships and help you build deeper, more meaningful connections with women. These aren't just tips. They're the secrets that successful men use every day to stand out and create lasting impressions. Before we jump in, if you enjoy content that helps you grow and improve, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the Stoic Code channel. Your support helps us create more valuable content, and by subscribing, you ensure you won't miss out on future insights. And I want to hear from you. If you find this information useful, drop a one in the comments. If you think there's room for improvement, give me a two. Your feedback is important, and I'm always looking to bring you the best. Let's get started with our first insight. Patience. Patience isn't just a virtue. It's a key to building real attraction. Women appreciate men who take their time to understand them and aren't in a rush. Let's dive into why patience is such a game changer. Point one, be genuine and authentic. When it comes to building connections with women, authenticity is key. Being genuine is about showing up as your true self, without putting on a facade or pretending to be someone you're not. Women, like anyone else, can often sense when someone is being disingenuous, and this can create a barrier to forming a meaningful connection. Authenticity, on the other hand, fosters trust and mutual respect, which are essential components of any relationship. Imagine you're having a conversation with a woman you've just met. If you're trying to impress her by exaggerating your accomplishments or pretending to share her interests, the interaction may feel forced or shallow. But if you're honest about who you are, even if it means admitting you're not familiar with something she loves, it opens the door for a more genuine exchange. She's likely to appreciate your honesty and may even respect you more for it. Being genuine also means being emotionally honest. This doesn't mean you should spill all your deepest secrets right away, but rather that you should be sincere about your feelings and intentions. If you're interested in getting to know her better, let her know in a respectful way. If you're not on the same page, it's better to be clear about that too. Emotional honesty creates clarity and helps prevent misunderstandings. In a world where social media often encourages us to present a curated version of ourselves, being authentic can be refreshing and even rare. It shows confidence and self-awareness, traits that are universally attractive. More importantly, when you're genuine, you give her the space to be genuine too, which can lead to a deeper, more fulfilling connection. Remember, authenticity isn't about being perfect, it's about being real. Embrace your quirks, acknowledge your flaws, and celebrate your strengths. When you show up as your true self, you're more likely to attract people who appreciate you for who you really are. This sets the foundation for a relationship based on mutual understanding, respect, and a deeper connection. And while you're here, make sure to subscribe to the Stoic Code channel for more insights on how to live a life of purpose, resilience, and authentic connection. Point two, listen more than you speak. One of the most powerful ways to build a deeper connection with a woman is by mastering the art of listening. It's often said that we have two ears and one mouth for a reason, to listen twice as much as we speak. Active listening is not just about hearing the words someone says, but about truly understanding and engaging with the underlying emotions and thoughts behind those words. When a woman feels truly heard, it creates a sense of validation and respect. It shows that you value her perspective and are genuinely interested in what she has to say. This can be incredibly impactful in building trust and rapport. In contrast, if you're more focused on what you're going to say next, or if you interrupt frequently, 
it can make her feel disregarded or undervalued. Active listening involves more than just nodding along or giving the occasional uh-huh. It's about being fully present in the conversation. This means maintaining eye contact, giving non-verbal cues like nodding, and occasionally summarizing or reflecting back what she said to ensure you've understood her correctly. For example, if she's sharing a story about a tough day at work, you might say, it sounds like that meeting was really frustrating for you, to show that you're tuned in to her experience. Listening also means resisting the urge to jump in with advice or solutions unless she specifically asks for it. Sometimes people just want to be heard, not fixed. Offering unsolicited advice can sometimes come across as dismissive of her feelings or experiences. Instead, focus on empathizing with her situation and asking open-ended questions that encourage her to share more. Moreover, when you listen actively, you're likely to learn things about her that you might have missed if you were only half paying attention. These insights can help you connect on a deeper level, as you'll understand her better and be able to relate to her in more meaningful ways. Remember, building a connection isn't about impressing someone with your words. It's about creating a space where both of you can be heard, understood and appreciated. So next time you're in a conversation, Try focusing a little more on listening and a little less on talking. You might be surprised at how much closer it brings you. Point three, show empathy and understanding. Empathy is the ability to step into someone else's shoes and see the world from their perspective. It's a crucial element in building deeper connections, particularly with women. When you show empathy, you're not just acknowledging what someone is going through, you're actively trying to understand their emotions and experiences. This creates a powerful bond of trust and mutual respect. Consider a situation where a woman is sharing a personal story or a challenge she's facing. Instead of immediately offering solutions or minimizing her feelings, take a moment to really listen and absorb what she's saying. Reflect back on her emotions by saying something like, that sounds really tough. I can see why you'd feel that way. This simple act of validating her feelings can make her feel seen and understood, which is incredibly valuable in any relationship. Empathy also involves being aware of nonverbal cues. Sometimes people don't express everything they're feeling in words. Pay attention to her body language, tone of voice and facial expressions. If she seems upset or withdrawn, gently inquire if something is bothering her. Even if she's not ready to talk about it, knowing that you've noticed and care can mean a lot. Moreover, empathy is about patience. Sometimes the emotions or situations people face are complex and can't be resolved quickly. Instead of rushing to conclusions or pushing for quick fixes, give her the space to express herself at her own pace. This shows that you're there to support her, no matter how long it takes. It's also important to remember that empathy doesn't mean you always have to agree with everything she says or does. It's about understanding where she's coming from, even if you have a different perspective. By acknowledging her feelings and showing that you care, you create a safe space for open and honest communication. Empathy can turn a casual interaction into a meaningful connection, when a woman feels that you truly understand and care about her, she's more likely to open up to you, share more of her world, and trust you with her thoughts and feelings. This deepens the connection and lays the groundwork for a relationship built on mutual respect and understanding. Point four, communicate clearly and openly. Clear and open communication is the backbone of any healthy relationship. It's not just about talking, it's about being honest, transparent and respectful in the way you express yourself. When building connections with women, how you communicate can make all the difference between a shallow interaction and a deep, meaningful bond. One key aspect of clear communication is expressing your thoughts and feelings in a straightforward manner. This doesn't mean being blunt or insensitive, rather, it's about being honest, 
while also considering the other person's feelings. For example, if something is bothering you, it's better to discuss it openly rather than letting it fester. Approaching the conversation with a calm and respectful tone can prevent misunderstandings and help you both find a resolution. Open communication also involves being transparent about your intentions. If you're interested in getting to know her better, say so. If you're not ready for a serious relationship, it's important to be upfront about that too. This level of honesty helps prevent mixed signals and ensures that both of you are on the same page. Another crucial element of effective communication is listening. It's not enough to just express your own thoughts. You also need to be attentive to hers. This means asking questions, seeking clarification when needed, and showing that you value her input. When she sees that you're genuinely interested in what she has to say, it fosters a sense of mutual respect and understanding. Miscommunication is one of the most common pitfalls in relationships. Small misunderstandings can escalate into bigger issues if not addressed early on. That's why it's important to cultivate an environment where both of you feel comfortable discussing your thoughts and feelings openly. Encourage her to share her perspective and be open to feedback yourself. This two-way street of communication strengthens the connection and builds trust. Additionally, non-verbal communication plays a significant role. Your body language, eye contact and facial expressions all convey messages, sometimes even more powerfully than words. Make sure your non-verbal cues align with what you're saying. For instance, maintaining eye contact shows that you're engaged and interested in the conversation, while an open posture can make you seem more approachable. In summary, clear and open communication is essential for building a deeper connection. It's about being honest, respectful and attentive, both in what you say and how you listen. By fostering a communicative environment, you create a strong foundation for any relationship. Point five, respect boundaries. Respecting boundaries is a fundamental aspect of any relationship and it's particularly important when building deeper connections with women. Boundaries are the personal limits that someone sets to feel safe and comfortable, and they can vary widely from person to person. By respecting these boundaries, you demonstrate that you value her autonomy and respect her as an individual. When you're getting to know someone, it's crucial to pay attention to both the explicit and implicit boundaries they set. Explicit boundaries are often communicated directly, like when someone says they need personal space or prefer not to discuss certain topics. Implicit boundaries, on the other hand, might be communicated through body language or changes in tone. For example, if she seems uncomfortable with a certain level of physical contact, it's important to recognize that and adjust your behavior accordingly, Respecting boundaries isn't just about avoiding certain actions. It's also about being mindful of how you communicate. For instance, if she indicates that she's not comfortable discussing a particular topic, it's important to steer the conversation in a different direction without pressuring her to explain herself. This shows that you're attentive to her needs and willing to accommodate them. In addition, respecting boundaries involves understanding that they can change over time. As trust builds and the relationship deepens, she may become more comfortable sharing certain aspects of her life or engaging in different activities. Conversely, she may also need to reinforce or adjust her boundaries as situations change. Being adaptable and respectful of these shifts is key to maintaining a healthy connection. Another important aspect of respecting boundaries is giving her the space she needs. Everyone has different levels of comfort with how much time they spend with others versus alone. If she needs time to herself, it's important to respect that without taking it personally allowing her the freedom to maintain her individuality within the relationship shows that you're secure in yourself and supportive of her needs. 
Ultimately, respecting boundaries is about treating her with the same level of respect and consideration that you would want for yourself. It's about recognizing her right to define her own comfort levels and honoring those limits without judgment. When you respect her boundaries, you create a safe space for the relationship to grow, built on trust and mutual respect. For more insights on how to navigate relationships with respect and wisdom, be sure to subscribe to the Stoic Code channel. Learn how to apply Stoic principles to enhance your personal connections and live a life of integrity. Point six, be authentic. Authenticity is one of the most attractive qualities you can bring to any relationship. It means being true to who you are, expressing your genuine thoughts and feelings and not trying to be someone you're not just to impress others. When you're authentic, you create a connection based on honesty and trust, which are essential for deepening any relationship. In a world where social media often presents a curated version of reality, authenticity can be a refreshing and valuable trait. Women, like anyone else, appreciate when someone is genuine and real with them. It's easy to spot when someone is being insincere, and this can quickly erode trust. On the other hand, being yourself, with all your quirks and imperfections, makes you relatable and trustworthy. One of the keys to being authentic is self-awareness. Understand who you are, what you value, and what you want out of life and relationships. When you have a clear sense of your identity, you're less likely to feel the need to put on a facade. This doesn't mean you have to reveal every detail about yourself immediately, but rather that the parts of yourself you do share are real and not a constructed image. Another aspect of authenticity is vulnerability. It's about being open and honest about your feelings, even if it means admitting your fears, mistakes or uncertainties. This level of openness can be difficult but it's also incredibly powerful in building a connection. When you share your true self with someone, it encourages them to do the same, leading to a deeper, more meaningful relationship. However, being authentic doesn't mean you should be unfiltered or careless with your words. It's important to balance honesty with kindness and respect. You can be true to yourself while still being considerate of the other person's feelings. For example, if you disagree with her opinion, express your thoughts in a way that is respectful and constructive rather than dismissive or harsh. Authenticity also extends to your actions. It's about living in alignment with your values and principles. If you say you're going to do something, follow through. If you hold certain beliefs, don't compromise them just to fit in or gain approval. Consistency between your words and actions reinforces your authenticity and builds trust over time. Being authentic might mean that not everyone will like you, and that's okay. The goal isn't to please everyone, but to build relationships that are meaningful and based on mutual respect and understanding. When you are true to yourself, you attract people who appreciate and connect with the real you. For more on how to cultivate authenticity in your life and relationships, don't forget to subscribe to the Stoic Code channel. Learn how to embrace your true self and build deeper, more genuine connections with others. Point seven, share your passions. Sharing your passions is a powerful way to connect with others, especially women. Passion is contagious. When you talk about something you love with enthusiasm and energy, it can inspire others and draw them closer to you. Whether it's a hobby, a career goal, or a cause you care about, sharing what excites you opens the door to deeper connections based on shared interests and values. When you share your passions, you reveal a part of yourself that is often tied to your identity and purpose. It's an opportunity to show what drives you, what you find meaningful, and what makes you unique. This kind of self-expression can make conversations more engaging and memorable as you're not just exchanging information, but sharing a part of who you are. 
For example, if you're passionate about hiking, you might share stories of your favorite trails, the challenges you've faced, and the joy you find in nature. If she's also interested in the outdoors, this could spark a deeper conversation or even lead to planning an adventure together. Even if she's not into hiking, your enthusiasm might still resonate with her and she might appreciate learning about something new from someone who's genuinely passionate about it. However, it's important to balance sharing your passions with being attentive to hers. A healthy connection involves mutual exchange, where both people feel heard and valued. Encourage her to talk about her passions as well and show genuine interest in what she loves. This not only deepens your connection, but also creates opportunities for discovering common ground. Another benefit of sharing your passions is that it allows you to connect on a deeper emotional level. When you talk about something that truly matters to you, it's likely to evoke strong emotions, whether it's excitement, joy, or even vulnerability. Sharing these emotions can create a bond that goes beyond surface-level interactions, making your connection more meaningful and fulfilling. It's also worth noting that passion can be a driving force for personal growth and development. When you're passionate about something, you're more likely to invest time and effort into it, which can lead to new skills, experiences, and insights. Sharing this journey with someone else can enrich the relationship as you both support and encourage each other's growth. However, be mindful not to overwhelm her with your passions or dominate the conversation. It's important to gauge her interest and be respectful of her boundaries. Sharing your passions should be a two-way street that enhances the connection, not a one-sided monologue. For more insights on how to integrate your passions into your relationships and live a life driven by purpose, make sure to subscribe to the Stoic Code channel. Discover how Stoic philosophy can help you cultivate and share your passions in a way that enriches both your life and your connections with others. Point 8. Practice patience. Patience is a virtue that is often overlooked, but is incredibly important in building deeper connections, especially with women. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to expect instant results in every aspect of life, including relationships. However, meaningful connections take time to develop. Practicing patience allows you to build a relationship on a solid foundation of trust, understanding, and respect. One of the most significant aspects of patience in relationships is giving the other person time to open up at their own pace. Everyone has their own comfort level when it comes to sharing personal thoughts, feelings, and experiences. By being patient, you show that you're willing to wait for her to feel comfortable and that you respect her boundaries. This creates a safe space where she can gradually reveal more of herself, leading to a deeper and more authentic connection. Patience is also important when dealing with challenges or misunderstandings in a relationship. It's natural for conflicts to arise, but how you handle them can make a big difference in the long-term health of the relationship. Instead of reacting impulsively or trying to force a resolution, take a step back and give both of you time to cool off and reflect. This approach not only helps in resolving the issue more effectively, but also demonstrates emotional maturity. In addition, patience is crucial in managing expectations. Building a deep connection doesn't happen overnight, and it's important to recognize that relationships evolve over time. There will be ups and downs, moments of closeness, and periods where you might feel more distant. Patience helps you navigate these fluctuations without becoming discouraged or anxious. It allows the relationship to develop naturally without putting undue pressure on either party. Another aspect of practicing patience is being mindful of the other person's life circumstances. She may have other priorities, such as work, family, or personal goals, that require her attention. By being understanding and supportive rather than demanding her time and energy, 
you show that you value her autonomy and respect her commitments. Furthermore, patience extends to your personal growth within the relationship. As you get to know each other better, you'll likely encounter situations that challenge you or push you out of your comfort zone. Embracing these moments with patience allows you to learn and grow together, rather than rushing to a conclusion or giving up when things get tough. In summary, patience is a key ingredient in building and maintaining deep, meaningful connections. It shows that you're committed to the relationship for the long haul and that you respect the natural pace at which it develops. Patience fosters a sense of security and trust, which are essential for any lasting relationship. For more guidance on practicing patience and other Stoic virtues in your relationships, don't forget to subscribe to the Stoic Code channel, explore how Stoic philosophy can help you cultivate patience and build deeper, more fulfilling connections.